TCAP practice test for grade 7. This is the math section, question number 54. Which table shows an inversely proportional relationship? Now, the big thing here is the inversely part. In is a prefix, which of course means not. Uh, inflexible means not flexible. So what I'm looking for is something that shows a non-proportional relationship. Really, mathematically, an inverse proportion looks like this. It says the y value for each one is some random constant. We don't know what it is divided by x every time. If we want to know what that constant is, so what could we do to figure out what that number is, I need to get, uh, it's almost like solving an equation. What do you do to get rid of divide? You multiply. So what it really means is that if I multiply the y value times the x value, I should get the same one for each term. So each row should give me the same product every single time I multiply it together. If they don't, it's probably not an inverse proportion. What it also means is an inverse proportion sort of looks like this. As this number increases, this number actually decreases over time. So when the x goes up, the y value goes down. If it goes up in some way, or even if it's curved, it's not inversely proportional because that's not because they are going in the same direction where what we're looking for is them not going in the same direction. We want one to go up and the other to go down. So let's look at the P and Q values here. I don't know why they didn't just use X and Y, but I guess they didn't feel like it. Uh, and see if one goes up and the other one goes up, it's not one of our correct answer choices. So let's look at the first one, letter F. F, 0.5 to 1 is an increase. 1 to 2 is an increase. 10 to 20 is an increase. 20 to 40 is an increase. These are increasing on both sides, so that's not an inverse proportion. H, going up, going up, going up, going up. And you always go from top down. So these are all increasing. So that's out. J is the same way. J 2.5 to 5 is an increase. This is another increase. On this side, goes up, goes up again. All these are showing increase on the left and increase on the right. So they are not inversely proportional because they probably are proportional. Now the last one, I'm going up, I'm going up, but on the other side, I'm going down. 10 to 5 is a subtraction, or I'm reducing it. Same thing from 5 to 2.5. Now, if my other theory is correct, we should be able to multiply the x term, or the p column here, uh, with the term in the y column, and get the same number every time. So if I do 2 times 10, I get 20. I get 4 times 5, I get 20. I get 8 times 2.5, shockingly, you get 20. So not only do I prove that they're not going in the same direction, because inverse, inversely proportional relationships don't go in the same direction, I also show that they have the same exact product, which means that they are proportional uh, in some way. They're just inversely proportional. So I meet both criteria. So my answer for number 54 is G.